And I got a very fun one. Like Derek said, man, Taekwondo bronze medalist in De Spain and then Parisian. I mean, we haven't seen Josh Parisian's name come up in quite a while, but man, this is going to be a very fun fight. De Spain, four knockouts all in the first round. Massive, massive opportunity right here to make a big splash. And then you got Parisian on the other side. This dude's on a, on a what, on a three fight skid, four fight skid. I forget exactly what it is. He's on a skid regardless, but either way, he needs the win, folks. Right here, I'm calling this one the Hungry, Hungry heavyweights we, we you know we used to play the hungry hungry hippos these are the heavyweights right here folks one hunting to make a big ko splash in the new his new organization and one hunting to keep his job folks i'm expecting fireworks from the jump both these fighters need to make a statement right here dog let's just let's, let's give a little more context right here you said it was for like quick knockouts right this dude's got a combined like tw like what five minutes of fight time and most of that came in his first fight you know what i mean so like let's just say there's a reason that this dude is in the UFC at 4-0, and, and one of the biggest reasons that I would have to say here, AJ, is because this dude is a 6-7 heavyweight with the longest reach in UFC history at 87 inches. John Jones has held that down for a long time. 87 inches, brother. He's hitting you from places you can't fathom. You better stay far away. So that is a sleeper. That's just a novelty. Let's, let's tune into this one. Let's